Welcome to My Long Island TV. From Manhasset to Montauk, we've traveled our communities to bring you the following events. I'm your host, Waldo Cabrera. My Long Island TV starts now. I really love getting to share this Rapunzel, especially because she is not the typical, you know, birds singing on your hand princess. You know, she's quirky and funny and clever. Well, happy birthday. You're 15 again, and you'll stay 15 till I tell you when. It's a message that speaks to the kids and speaks to the parents because you have the kids who are, you know, each in their teens and getting ready to be self-sufficient and do things on their own. It's a blanket and pillow, ears for a bunny, a great weeping willow, or a river of honey, or anything else that I want to pretend. It's a tent, it's a tale, it's a friend. I really love Me, My Hair and I, the song I sing about my hair because she's just explaining to the prince all these different things she does with her hair. It's the only friend she's ever had. Well, don't just hide that prince, Brian. Climb in! Mother, what are you going to do? The thing that's fun about this prince is he's a prince who doesn't really know how to be a prince. So it's kind of, you know, I don't have to just be perfect all the time. I get to be myself. I get to be a little spastic, a little goofy, and I'm just figuring it out along the way. No, I'm not going home until I'm in hero. I'm not going home until then. I'm not going home without trumpets and trophies until I can say that I'm one of the men. And the way things look at the moment, I'm never going home again. I loved working with this script because the script just had so many great bits. Gotcha! Yeah. <laughs> I'd have to say I think that one of my favorite moments is when I first meet Rapunzel because just working with Steph has been so so great and we have such great time together and there's great chemistry there so when I enter the tower we have this whole funny bit where she chases me with the frying pan like you see in Tangled the Disney film so it's a lot of fun. I want to take a bath in that stream. Oh, yo, that's cold. I want to ride one of those horses. Oh you'll fall off. I want to find out what's at the end of that road. McDonald's, you'll get fat. My character, the witch, is definitely a little wackier than, uh, say, in the movie Tangled. But honestly, this is a different take on it. And I, get, I like that we get to be very, very silly. Why, well, it's a good thing I didn't listen to all those nice things you said to me. Otherwise, I'd be pretty upset right now. Well, there is a bit of a transformation that happens. So in the beginning of the show, I am ugly and green and wretched. And then I fall in love. I won't tell you who with, but I'm going on my first date ever. So I put a magic spell on myself to look like this. It's a lot of fun. Come on, Simon. Have I ever asked you to do anything that could get you into trouble? Yes, all the time. Well, then why should today be any different? All of these jokes and, and, and the dialogue, it's written by the creators of Friends. You know, it's for children, but it's also for their their parents. So it, it kind of brings audiences together. We crafted this like amazing number and um, it really just pops out to, to the audience and it's a moment for them to be like, just um, don't worry about following the story, just watch us move. Your beauty is positively haunted. You know, I don't get a chance to play these roles. I've played ingenues and princesses, and I got to just let loose, be a little evil, be a little silly, sometimes both at the same time. I will admit I might have had the most fun doing this role. It's got eye of newt and tongue of toad, laser gizzard icing, and we'll have it on the moons for your birthday. What do you want to get? Let's find a way to make today the best birthday yet. 